we're getting ready to walk out on stage, the place just erupts. It's so powerful. You look out in the front row, and it's all chicks. And that's how you know you've arrived. on the bass, his style, he's a little, you know, metal, death metal slash butt rock. Kind of 80s butt rock, you know, with a little bit of kind of Pantera in there, which makes it kind of cool, his own thing. And he's like the showman. Tony's the, sh the showman, you know, on stage. He's the one, he's just all, you know, the ham, you know, look at me. And then you got Sean, more, way more mellow than any of us. Definitely the mellowest of us, and definitely the most level-headed. So he kind of brings, I would say, Sean brings a little order to our chaotic stuff. That's how I'd look at Sean. And then Jeff, he's real simple, basic beats, real simple, is not really trying to show off too much. Hits harder than any drummer I've ever jammed with. I mean, he hits hard, really hard. I mean, I think the guy really, really wants to be heard <laughs> bad. <laughs> So Eight Days Clean was started in 2006 uh, by four guys who have similar taste in rock and roll, drugs, alcohol, and dirty women. And uh, we don't we don't like drugs and alcohol anymore. <laughs> so it's worked out pretty good. And we're all just like that. I'll be your king cause you're my nasty queen. The process for writing lyrics for Ron is probably arduous. And uh, the pain that he brings across with his writing is probably a lot of stuff from the past. And it's easy to pull that kind of stuff up, you know. Uh, but it's hard to describe it. And it's hard to describe it in a, um, in a way that isn't cliche. We go in the studio, we record these songs, we rehearse them, get them down, we have a great time doing it. We get on stage and it's, it's a whole new world. To be able to look in the, in the eyes of our fans and, and see them sing along to the songs and know the lyrics and you know, crowd surfing over it, it's just, that's the payoff for me, is to be able to, to be with, with a group of guys and, and to have fun and to, to do this for the fans. When we wrote Angels of Nothing, we had no idea the kind of impact it was going to have on people. I mean, we didn't have any predisposed uh, notions about writing this album. We just, you know, we just wanted to write another album and we had fun doing it. So the, the response to it has been overwhelming and, and awesome to say the least. New album, Angels of Nothing. Why did we... If you haven't figured it out by now, we don't drink, we don't use drugs, but we do still have some behaviors that are less than... <laughs> Stay behind them, All right, we're eight days clean. If you haven't figured it out by now, we don't drink and we don't do drugs and we're not ambassadors to anything. We still have some behaviors that are less than desirable. Hence the name for the new album, Angels of Nothing, sort of a disclaimer on some of the behaviors that we display, and you'll find some of that in some of the songs. <laughs>